Fantasy Fanfiction. Through the chat group, start fighting to break the three-year agreement. Chapter 31. With Yuner here, it seems we can't touch Suhan this time. Koga frowned, a little unwilling, but he could only give up this opportunity. Yun Yun is a powerful person in Profound Sovereign, and the Holy Code Empire can only be counted in two hands. With her protecting him, let alone sending a mysterious spirit, even if Koga personally took action, he couldn't move a single hair of Su Han. If you are lucky once, you will not be lucky forever. There will always be times when Yuner is not around, right? A gloomy look flashed across Koga's face. Yun Yun accompanied Su Han to leave opening heaven to experience the Lanzong, which was something Koga dreamed of. Koga has invited Yun Yun to travel together many times, but she has always refused. This made Koga even more jealous of Su Han, and his murderous intention became more intense. Su Han didn't know that he had escaped a disaster. He was led by Yun Yun and rushed to the Demon Dragon Mountains at an extremely fast speed. It didn't take long to arrive. Su Han did not enter the Demon Dragon Mountains immediately, but asked Yun Yun. Master, can you rest in this city for a while? This city was the destination that Su Han arrived at when he followed a caravan from Novice Village. Is there anything special about this small town? Yun Yun was puzzled. Her power swept across the small city below her feet, and the strongest person was the great mystic master. In other aspects, it is also very ordinary, just the most common small town outside the magic dragon mountain range. The largest number of people inside are the caravans of the major forces, as well as the mercenaries who venture into the demon dragon mountains to hunt monsters. I received help from a village in the Magic Dragon Mountains. I want to buy some supplies in this small town and give them to that village's gifts. Su Han explained. It's not that Su Han is unwilling to give the village better things in return, but there is a saying that a common man is not guilty, but he who possesses a treasure is guilty. If Su Han gives the village very precious things, such as profound rank secret skills and profound rank skills. Su Han must have been fine when he was in the village, but when he left, the village did not have enough power to protect these precious treasures, which would inevitably arouse the greed and prying eyes of jackals. By then, the village is likely to suffer disaster. If the murderer wiped out the village and then escaped, it would be difficult for Su Han to find the murderer. I see, then let's rest in this city for a while. Yun Yun looked calm and nodded secretly in his heart. The two fell from the sky and came to a small town. Yun Yun's beauty astounded the people around her, and their eyes almost stared blankly. Where could such beauty be found in such a small border town? However, no one dared to look at Yun Yun for a second time and all bowed their heads. Even though they coveted Yun Yun in their hearts, they didn't dare to show it on their faces. Yun Yun landed from the sky and flew. This is the exclusive ability of profound king. In other words, the stunning beauty in front of you is at least a profound king. The strongest person in this small city is the great mystic master, who is two realms away from the profound king. Who dares to keep staring at Union? I'm afraid it's not too long to live. For a time, the mercenaries who were usually noisy and full of vulgar and obscene words became civilized and polite. Su Han took Yun Yun to the largest store in the small town and purchased a large number of supplies that could be used by both the mystical practitioner and the mystical master realm. These materials are precious and precious, but at most they are attractive to the mystic masters, while the great mystical masters still look down upon them. Most suitable for the village where Uncle Li Yi lives. However, if you want to make the village safe, there is another piece of insurance that must be purchased. Does anyone know how to get to Lija Kun's caravan? We'll pay you a lot of money for leading the way. Su Han's voice spread throughout half of the small town. This is Su Han's insurance, as long as people here know that Lija Kun has a close relationship with him. Even the great mysterious master did not dare to attack Lija Kun easily, so the mysterious master and the mysterious master did not even dare to do so. After all, there is a living profound king next to Su Han. Who dares to take action against Lija Kun and offend a powerful profound king for some supplies that are only suitable for mystics and mystic masters, and even the great mystic masters don't like them. When Su Han deliberately mentioned Lija Kun, everyone in the town knew that Lija Kun had a close relationship with a profound king. Go quickly and investigate the origins of Lija village. Prepare gifts, I'm going to visit Lija Kun. 
For a time, many forces were active and thought of making friends with Lija Kun. I, I know how to get to Lija Kun. With a lot of money, a caravan soon came out and was willing to lead Su Han. Su Han readily paid a large amount of money. Young master is so generous. I will take you to Lija village right away. The caravan leader smiled from ear to ear and flattered Su Han wildly. The reward given by Su Han was a drop in the bucket to him, but to the caravan leader, it was half a year's income of the caravan. The caravan leader is so willing to get such a generous reward for just one trip. Master, let's follow the caravan to Lija village. Su Han turned to look at Yun Yun and asked for her opinion. Yun Yun naturally has no objection. To gain experience, one must go through various things to grow. The leader of the caravan prepared a brand new, unused luxury carriage for Su Han and Yun Yun, with a saddle in front and a horse in back, with a warm attitude. He doesn't look like a caravan leader, but like a boy in a restaurant. A middle-aged caravan man kept staring at Su Han. He felt that the other person was so familiar. Finally, he remembered. Old Zhang, we are all working, but you are the only one who is slacking off. Can you afford to neglect your distinguished guest? At this time, the caravan leader came over and cursed. Boss, I discovered a big secret. The middle-aged man, Lao Zhang, lowered his voice. Can you still discover the big secret? Stop pretending here and get to work. The caravan leader was disdainful. It's a really big secret. The middle-aged man, Lao Zhang, said anxiously. Boss, do you still remember that a year ago, Li Yi gave us some reward and asked a young man to follow our caravan out of the Magic Dragon Mountains? The nobleman on the carriage is that young man. Quote. It turns out that the caravan that took Su Han to Lija Kun was the same caravan that took Su Han out of the Magic Dragon Mountains. Su Han himself had forgotten such trivial matters. But Lao Zhang had some impression of Su Han and actually recognized him. What? You're not kidding, are you? The caravan leader's eyes widened. He was just an ordinary boy a year ago. He didn't remember it at all, so naturally he had no impression. At this moment, when he heard that the noble man on the carriage was the young man from before, the leader of the caravan was shocked. It's true, I can vouch for it with my career. Lao Zhang swore. When the leader of the caravan saw that Lao Zhang was so serious, he knew that this matter was probably true. His expression changed and he felt a little regretful. Why didn't I see that the boy a year ago was so promising? If he had known that Su Han would have a close relationship with the powerful profound king a year later, the caravan leader would definitely win over and form a good relationship. It's a pity that if you missed it at the beginning, you really missed it. It's useless for the caravan leader to regret, he said with envy. Old Li is really going to be prosperous this time. A real dragon appears in Lija village, and he can even ascend to heaven with him. A powerful profound king can form a powerful force in the Holy Code Empire and dominate it. Su Han has a close relationship with a profound king, and Li Yi has a good relationship with Su Han. In other words, Li Yi indirectly caught up with the strong man of profound king. This relationship really makes the caravan leader extremely envious. In the future, the price of Warcraft materials purchased from Lija Kun will be increased by 50%. The caravan leader made a quick decision and issued an order. Since you can't make friends with Profound King directly, it would be great to make friends with Li Yi first. It took the caravan two days to successfully arrive near Lija Kun. But at this moment, Yun Yun in the carriage opened his eyes. There is a group of people approaching Lija Kun ahead, with a menacing look on their faces. They seem to be trying to harm Lija Kun. What? Su Han's face changed slightly. What's the opponent's strength? Led by a great profound master, there are several mysterious masters, and the remaining dozens of people are all profound practitioners. Yun Yun said. Su Han breathed a sigh of relief. With this little strength, he could solve it alone without Yun Yun taking action. However, how could Lija Kun provoke a force with a great profound master? Logically speaking, the people in Lija village are relatively kind and would not offend others easily. Let's not show up for now. Let's hide aside and check the situation. Su Han said. Can. Yun Yun nodded. As for the caravan, it's easier to talk about. Su Han just gave an explanation, and the leader immediately stopped the caravan and prohibited everyone from making noise. Su Han and a group of people were hiding near Lijakun and observing the situation in Lijakun. 
At this time, people in Lijakun were having lunch as usual. Uncle Li Yi and his daughter Li Shui are also there. The atmosphere among the villagers was joyful and harmonious, and there were sounds of laughter and laughter. Didn't realize the danger was coming. Ten minutes later, a group of people appeared in Lijakun. The leader, the great mystic Master Zhang Yu, stared at Li Yi and smiled ferociously. Master Li, please come and be fine. Zhang Yu. Li Yi's expression changed drastically when he saw the visitor. The surrounding villagers also turned pale with fear. Three years ago, you escaped from the iron-blooded city with a small number of remnants of the Li family, but you made it easy for me to find you. But no matter how well the mouse hides, it can't escape the pursuit of the cat. Today is the day when your Li family will be completely exterminated. Quote. Zhang Yu laughed. Zhang Yu, you beast. Back then, my eldest brother and you were brothers of the opposite sex, and you killed him for the treasure. You even suddenly attacked our Li family and killed most of our clan members. Now we have to kill all the Li family. Quote. Li Yi cursed loudly and was full of hatred for Zhang Yu. Well, I don't want to kill my sworn brother, but the treasure can help people break through the great mystic master. The key is that there is only one. I had no choice but to kill your eldest brother. Quote. Zhang Yu pretended to sigh. Let the things of the past be buried in the years and never be mentioned again. Now I just want to do one thing, to exterminate your Li family. After all, I feel uneasy if the Li family is not exterminated. Quote. I have never seen such a shameless person. Li Yi's eyes were bloodshot and his face was filled with anger. Master, I have nothing to say to these shameless people, just fight them. Kill, kill, kill. Revenge for the people of my Li family who died. The villagers were all stimulated by Zhang Yu's words. They were all filled with indignation, and their mysterious energy spurted out, wanting to fight the Zhang family. But Li Yi knew very well that Lai Zhikun was no match for the Zhang family. There is only one Zan master and several Zan practitioners in Lijia village, and the rest are basically people with Zan Qi. For example, his daughter Li Shuier, who is 17 years old today, is only at the fourth level of Zan Qi. Zhang Yu himself is a great mystic master, and he also leads several mystical masters and dozens of mystical practitioners. There is no way to fight. Tianyu, you take Shuei away, while I and the other tribesmen will stay behind for you. Li Yi whispered to a young man. Li Tianyu is the most talented member of the younger generation of the Li family. He is already a one-star profound practitioner at the age of 23. Let him escape, and the Li family will have a chance for revenge in the future. As for Li Shuier, her talent is not high. But Li Yi is a father, and he hopes that his daughter can survive. Master, I understand. I will take Shuier away safely. Li Tianyu nodded solemnly. He had a relatively rational personality, but in his heart he wanted to stay and fight to the death with the Zhang family. But reason told him that doing so would only destroy the Li family and completely lose the opportunity to take revenge on the Zhang family. No, I won't leave. I want to stay with my father and the village. Li Shuier refused. She couldn't afford to watch her father and clan members die in front of her while escaping alone. Boom. Li Tianyu stepped forward knocked Li Shuier unconscious, and was about to leave with her. Li Yi's eyes flashed with relief. Li Tianyu had a decisive character. If he was allowed to escape, he might really have a chance to rise up and seek revenge on the Zhang family in the future. Looking at the unconscious Li Shuier, Li Yi's eyes flashed with sadness. He knew that he would definitely die this time, and he would never be able to see his daughter again, and he felt very sad. But in order for his daughter to survive and for the Li family to continue, he put away his sadness and looked at the Zhang family with a firm face. Kill. Li Yi roared and led his tribe to kill Zhang Yu head on. Li Tianyu, on the other hand, used a mysterious movement skill and fled towards the rear with the unconscious Li Shuier. Do you think you, a little mystical master, can hold me back? Let your daughter escape. Today I will show you how big the gap is between the mystic master and the great mystic master. Zhang Yu smiled disdainfully and stretched out a hand towards Li Yi. Big monument smasher. A hand about 10 feet tall was sent towards Li Yi's Tianling guy with terrifying pressure. Before it fell on Li Yi, the strong wind surged and caused him pain. Li Yi knew that he was no match for the great mystic master. 
All he wanted to do was try his best to hold Zhang Yu down for a moment so that Li Tianyu and Li Shui'er could have time to escape. Even if you sacrifice your own life for it. Kai. Just as Li Yi was about to cast a life-burning forbidden technique, he could briefly increase his own strength. A series of fierce shots came, easily piercing through Zhang Yu's big stone-throwing hand. Let it dissipate into the air. Quote question mark quote. Li Yi was stunned. Bold. Who dares to interfere in my affairs with the Li family? Zhang Yu was furious and slapped Su Han and others where they were hiding. Kai. Another ray of sword light shot out, destroying the big monument thrower again. Su Han stopped hiding and walked out with Yun Yun in the caravan. Zhang Yu, right, you're so cruel, you secretly killed your sworn brother for the treasure. He also killed all the families who were sworn to his eldest brother. People like you deserve to go to hell. Quote, Su Han put his hands behind his back and said in a cold tone. He had already roughly understood the grievances between the Li family and the Zhang family just now. Zhang Yu and Uncle Li Yi's eldest brother were sworn brothers. During a certain adventure, they discovered a precious medicine that allowed the Zan Master to defeat the great Zan Master. Zhang Yu was so greedy that he killed Uncle Li Yi's eldest brother behind his back and took the medicine for himself. In order to eliminate the root cause and avoid future troubles, Zhang Yu even took action against the Li family. Three years ago, most of the Li family members died, and Li Yi fled to the Demon Dragon Mountains with only a small part of the responsibility. Zhang Yu spent three years searching and finally found traces of the remnants of the Li family. He personally brought people to the door to eradicate the Li family. It has to be said that Zhang Yu is ruthless and a ruthless character. There are many evil people like Zhang Yu in the world, but Su Han is not a saint, so he doesn't care. However, Uncle Li Yi has a favor for Su Han, so he has to take care of it. Su Han. Li Yi looked at the visitor with a stunned expression. The boy who was particularly good at swordsmanship a year ago was back. Li Yi should have been happy to see Su Han again after a long separation. He gave Su Han a strong hug, patted his shoulder and said welcome back, and prepared Warcraft barbecue for him. But at this moment, facing a powerful enemy, Li Yi couldn't be happy at all, and even couldn't help but sigh. Su Han, you came back to see me at the wrong time. My enemies are here and I'm afraid it will hurt you. With Zhang Yu's character, he will definitely not let go of Su Han, who has a good relationship with him. Li Yi felt a little guilty in his heart. Zhang Yu was his enemy. Su Han simply suffered an unreasonable disaster this time. He gritted his teeth slightly and said. Su Han, leave quickly, I'll hold Zhang Yu back. Li Yi didn't want to involve Su Han. Uncle Li, leave this matter to me today. Su Han smiled. Boy, you want to be a hero, do you have the strength? Zhang Yu sneered and was very disdainful of Su Han. As a great mystic master, he could make the opponent run away with only a few moves. Compared to Su Han, Zhang Yu is more interested in the woman next to Su Han. Zhang Yu's eyes passed over Su Han and landed on Yun Yun, with a hint of surprise and greed in his eyes. This woman is so beautiful. As a grand mystic master, Zhang Yu dominates a small town. He has played with countless beauties, but none of them can compare to 1% of the woman in front of him. If I could hold her under me, what would it feel like? Zhang Yu licked his tongue, his heart burning. Scum that deserves to be killed. Yun Yun had a keen sense of consciousness and could not help but frown when he sensed Zhang Yu's malice. As soon as she heard about Zhang Yu's evil deeds, she already wanted to kill him for the sake of the people. Now, if Zhang Yu dares to look at her like that, it is simply a crime. Yun Yun raised his green white jade hand, and the profound energy in his body surged to kill Zhang Yu. Master, why do you need to take action against such a small character? If you kill him, you will only dirty your own hands. The disciple can do it for you. Su Han quickly stopped him. An opponent of the great mystic master happened to be his whetstone. He was also very curious. After completing many profound level practices and sword intent basic accomplishment, would he be able to kill the great mystic master? That's the great mystic master, can you deal with it? Yun Yun's beautiful eyes flashed with a trace of hesitation. Su Han was extremely powerful in combat and already had the appearance of being invincible as a mystic master, but after all, he was only a two-star mystic master. It should be impossible to defeat a great mystic master, right? 
Yun Yun didn't want Su Han to get hurt. Master, please believe me. Su Han said with a smile. If I really lose to Zhang Yu, you can take action again. Okay, remember to act within your capabilities. If you can't defeat us, retreat immediately and let your master come. Yun Yun thought for a moment and agreed. She had two purposes for leaving opening Heaven Land Zong this time, one of which was to train Su Han. Yun Yun put down his jade hand and stepped aside, ready to see how Su Han would deal with a great mystic master. Su Han took out a long sword from the storage ring, pointed at Zhang Yu, and said calmly. Come and die. Arrogant. Zhang Yu laughed angrily, a young boy was so courageous that he dared to let his great profound master come over to lead him to death. I will capture you and torture you. Zhang Yu had a cold look on his face and ran towards Su Han at an astonishing speed, like a bolt of lightning. Arriving in front of Su Han in an instant, Zhang Yu shook his hands into a fist and punched him hard in the abdomen. Boom! The mysterious energy wraps around the fist, exudes a black luster, and contains terrifying power. Even a small mountain will explode on the spot under this punch. Su Han, be careful. Li Yi's expression changed, and while loudly reminding Su Han, he tried to save him as fast as possible. But Zhang Yu was too fast and Li Yi had no time to save Su Han. After all, Li Yi is just a mysterious master, while Zhang Yu is a great mysterious master. The mind is full but the strength is not enough. Wind Spirit Fractal Sword. Facing Zhang Yu's attack, Su Han's expression remained unchanged and he just slashed out with his sword. Kai. One sword light instantly evolved into 13, striking at Zhang Yu. Each one was real, attacking him from different angles, sealing off the space, making it impossible for him to avoid it. The deeper you master the Wind Spirit Fractal Sword, the more sword light you can evolve. 13 sword lights are the level of perfection. Not good. Zhang Yu felt a hint of danger, his face changed slightly, he turned from offense to defense, summoning Zan Qi armor to protect his whole body. Zan Qi armor is a unique method of the great Zan Master. Its defensive power is much stronger than the Zan Qi gauze of the Zan Master. Chang Chang Chang. 13 sword strikes struck Zhang Yu at the same time, causing him to retreat one after another, and the Xuanqi armor became dimmed. But it didn't break after all. Two-star mysterious master, profound level mysterious technique. Zhang Yu stared at Su Han and realized that he had provoked a big enemy. This person is already a mystic master at a young age, and has mastered the profound rank mystical skill, and has practiced it to a high level. He is obviously a genius disciple trained by a big force. Zhang Yu's heart trembled when he thought of the consequences of provoking such a person. No, he must be killed here. Zhang Yu's eyes were filled with murderous intent. The preacher of the great religion in front of him wants to help Li Yi, and peace talks between the two are no longer possible. Only by killing him can this matter be settled. Thinking of this, Zhang Yu stopped holding back and unleashed all his strength. Whirlwind. Zhang Yu took out a broad knife poured a large amount of profound energy into it, and struck Su Han fiercely. Ching Feng Yi. With a thought in Su Han's mind, a pair of blue wings about 10 feet long formed behind his back, and with a slight flap, he took him to the sky. Boom! Zhang Yu's sword failed, and a large crack of more than 10 feet appeared on the ground, and soil flew everywhere. Flying magic! Zhang Yu's face changed wildly. Ordinary successors of great religions do not have flying skills, but Su Han actually has it. What is his identity? Wind Spirit Fractal Sword. Su Han didn't give Zhang Yu time to think, he kept flying in the air, and sword lights rushed towards Zhang Yu like a torrent. The beating made Zhang Yu retreat repeatedly. If it weren't for the strong defensive power of the mysterious energy armor on his body, he would have been killed long ago. What makes Zhang Yu frustrated is that Su Han is flying in the air and can attack him, but he can't fly and can't fight back. Zhang Yu rolled his eyes and quickly thought of a way. He turned around and ran towards Li Yi, who had been stunned for a long time. Court death. Su Han's eyes were cold. How could he not know Zhang Yu's vicious thoughts? I originally wanted to play with you for a while longer and experience what it's like to fight against the great mystic master. But if you have to rush to hell, then die. Quote, Wind Spirit Fractal Sword. Su Han still used this move, and 13 rays of sword light shot towards Zhang Yu. What's different from before is that one of the sword lights contains basic accomplishment sword intent. 
Zhang Yu activated the mysterious energy armor to the extreme and ran towards Li Yi regardless. As long as Li Yi is caught, he can be used as a hostage and threaten the great sect disciple in the sky. Kai. Thirteen sword lights struck Zhang Yu, twelve of them were blocked by his Xuanqi armor just like before. But the last one cut through the mysterious armor silently, and then cut open his neck. Zhang Yu's neck shot up into the sky, and blood spurted out like spring water, spreading over half of the sky. How can it be? Before Zhang Yu died, his eyes widened. He couldn't believe that his great master was actually killed by a master, and only a two-star master. Boom. Zhang Yu's body fell to the ground with a crash, his eyes filled with unwillingness and a hint of regret. If he hadn't killed everyone in Lijia village, he wouldn't have provoked such a terrifying young man. Family, the head of the family is dead. The Zhang family brought by Zhang Yu looked at the body of their head, their eyes widened in disbelief. Zhang Yu, the most powerful person in the Zhang family, is the spiritual pillar of the Zhang family. He led the Zhang family from a small family to a big family, dominating the Iron Blood City. In their eyes, the head of the family is an unsurpassable strong man, and now he is dead. Or he was killed by a young mysterious master. How can it be? Before Zhang Yu died, his eyes widened. He couldn't believe that his great master was actually killed by a master, and only a two-star master. Boom. Zhang Yu's body fell to the ground with a crash, his eyes filled with unwillingness and a hint of regret. If he hadn't killed everyone in Lijia village, he wouldn't have provoked such a terrifying young man. Family, the head of the family is dead. The Zhang family brought by Zhang Yu looked at the body of their head, their eyes widened in disbelief. Zhang Yu, the most powerful person in the Zhang family, is the spiritual pillar of the Zhang family. He led the Zhang family from a small family to a big family, dominating the Iron Blood City. In their eyes, the head of the family is an unsurpassable strong man, and now he is dead. Or he was killed by a young mysterious master. Zhang Yu, this beast, is dead. Li Yi was also stunned. He knew how powerful Zhang Yu was. It was Zhang Yu who led the Li family to destruction. Li Yi thinks about revenge all the time, but he knows that Zhang Yu is powerful and he is no opponent, so he can only keep the thought of revenge deep in his heart. Now, Zhang Yu was beheaded in front of him. This made Li Yi wonder if he was dreaming. After confirming that he was not dreaming, he suddenly laughed wildly. Ha ha, well done to you, Zhang Yu, you beast. Big brother, uncle. To all the Li family members who died under Zhang Yu, you can rest in peace. Quote. Although he did not take revenge personally, Zhang Yu's death can be regarded as revenge. Smiling and laughing, Li Yi cried again. Zhang Yu is dead, but the dead Li family members cannot be resurrected. The villagers of Li Jia village surrounded Li Yi, crying and laughing. Yun Yun glanced at Li Yi and others, with a hint of sympathy flashing in her eyes. Soon, her eyes shifted to Su Han, with a hint of surprise in her beautiful eyes. The two-star profound master killed the great profound master. Such a record is not available in the entire Holy Code Empire. I am afraid that only the geniuses outside the Holy Code Empire can rival him. Yun Yun found that he had underestimated Su Han. He had thought that he had broken through to the mysterious master level at the age of 18 and had even defeated an 8-star mystic master with his cultivation level of a 1-star mystic master. Invincibility at the level of mystic master was his limit. But Su Han killed the great master with his sword and told her with facts that the invincibility of the master was far from his limit. Su Han's talent, even though Yun Yun, as a profound sovereign, has seen a lot of talented people, was moved by it. Yun Yun looked at Su Han, with a smile on his usually calm face. Su Han is her disciple. The more genius his performance is, the happier she will be. Monster, what a monster. No wonder he has a relationship with the profound king. The caravan leader was shocked and looked at Su Han with deep awe. Not to mention that Su Han surpassed a great realm and killed the great mystic master Zhang Yu. Just the fact that Su Han had already broken through to Zan master at such a young age was enough to shock the caravan leader. He is over 40 years old, and he is only a 5-star profound practitioner. Ding, the host kills one person, murderous aura plus 100. Closing square bracket. Ding, a hundred times the critical hit, murderous aura plus 10,000. Closing square bracket. After Su Han killed Zhang Yu, 
he removed the Qingfeng wing and landed slowly on the ground. Two system prompts came in his mind. Here, you can still get murderous aura by killing people. Su Han was a little surprised. This was a path he had never imagined. With the proficiency system, if there is enough murderous intent, it can transform into murderous intent. Su Han looked at the group of men brought by Zhang Yu, his eyes changed, with a hint of eagerness to try. The Zhang family members were so frightened that their faces turned pale when Su Han glanced at them, and a trace of fear appeared in their eyes. Some people even knelt on the ground with a thud and begged Su Han. Young hero, spare your life, spare your life. The most powerful person in the Zhang family, the great mystic master Zhang Yu was easily killed by Su Han. There is no great mystic master among the remaining Zhang family members. There are only a few mystical masters. The rest are all just mystical masters, and there is no way they can be Su Han's opponent. The Zhang family decisively chose to beg for mercy and did not even dare to escape. After all, they all just saw Su Han perform the mysterious flying skill. Facing a monster with the combat power of a great mystic master and the ability to fly, they couldn't escape at all. Young hero, we are innocent, Zhang Yu is the culprit, and we were all coerced by him. I have an 80-year-old woman and a 3-year-old child. How can they survive without me? Young hero, you pity the old woman and the child. Please spare my life. Someone took the lead, and more Zhang family members knelt on the ground, crying and howling, with many reasons to beg for mercy. Some people put all the blame on Zhang Yu. He is dead anyway, and a dead person will not refute. Some portray themselves as a pitiful person and attempt to morally kidnap Su Han. Forgiving you is a matter for the Lord of Hell, and I am only responsible for sending you to the underworld. Facing the begging for mercy from everyone in the Zhang family, Su Han's expression remained unchanged. Streams of sword light shot out, killing them. Some people roared and tried to fight for their lives, while others used physical and mysterious skills to escape. But in front of the wind spirit fractal sword, no one can avoid the fate of death. Soon, all the Zhang family members were killed. Killing decisively, not bad. Yun Yun nodded secretly. It is easy to hide from an open gun, but difficult to guard against a hidden arrow. If you let an enemy go, he will hide in secret to deal with you, cause you all kinds of trouble, and even kill you. Only by killing all the enemies can future troubles be solved. It was Su Han's first time to go out for training. Yun Yun was satisfied that he was able to understand such a profound truth without anyone teaching him. A good death, a good death. Next to him, Li Yi saw Su Han beheading everyone in the Zhang family, with a trace of relief on his face after a great revenge was avenged. Thank you, Su Han. At this time, Li Yi's mood had stabilized a lot. He walked up to Su Han, knelt down with a pop, and kowtowed three times. Su Han saved the lives of everyone in Lijia village, and also helped them avenge themselves and destroy the Zhang family. Li Yi had no way to repay this kindness and could only kowtow in thanks. All the villagers in Lijia village knelt down and followed Li Yi in kowtowing to Su Han. Uncle Li, what are you doing? Get up quickly. Su Han quickly lifted Li Yi up and asked a middle-aged man to kowtow to him. He really couldn't bear it. After much talk, Li Yi and the villagers finally agreed. Later, at the invitation of Li Yi, Su Han and Yun Yun entered the village. As for the people in the caravan, the leader of the caravan greeted Li Yi, his only acquaintance, and left Lijia village knowingly. In the village, the villagers were busy, taking out the most precious and delicious food, and held a bonfire banquet to entertain Su Han. Li Yi accompanied Su Han and Yun Yun. Next to her is Li Shuier. After the Zhang family was destroyed, the villagers found Li Tianyu and Li Shuier who had escaped and told them what happened. Li Shuier was stunned at the time, and was very excited when she realized what she was doing. That's great. My father is not dead, and neither is everyone in the village. After learning that Su Han had saved his father in Lijia village, he killed everyone in the Zhang family. Li Shuier was filled with gratitude. At the dinner, she personally grilled Su Han. When he was thirsty, she immediately brought him water with just the right temperature. A beautiful girl was so enthusiastic that Su Han couldn't stand it. Li Yi on the side felt a little jealous when he saw his daughter being so kind to Su Han. Even his old father did not receive such good treatment. 
However, thinking of Su Han's help to Lai Zhikun, Li Yi pretended not to see it. Yun Yun looked at this scene with a smile, never expecting that his disciple, who had always been confident and steady, as if he had everything under control, would have such an embarrassing moment. In the evening, Su Han and Li Yi were alone in a room. It contains some resources that mystics and mystical masters can use. Su Han gave Li Yi a storage ring to repay his kindness for taking him in. You helped me kill Zhang Yu, which is far more than my kindness in taking you in. I can't have this storage ring. Li Yi refused. He was not an insatiable and greedy person. It's a little thought, but it's not much. Just accept it. Su Han insisted. Li Yi couldn't refuse and had no choice but to accept it. He opened the storage ring and took a look at the supplies inside, and was shocked. There are indeed only some materials belonging to mystics and mystics in the storage ring, but there are too many. In another room, Yun Yun saw all this, and his evaluation of Su Han went even higher. Dot dot dot. The next day, Su Han said goodbye to Li Yi and left Lai Zhikun with Yun Yun. Li Shuier was a little disappointed. She hadn't had time to thank Su Han properly. See you later. Li Yi waved to Su Han and watched him go away, feeling reluctant to leave. Dot dot dot. Su Han left Lijia village and rushed towards Azure Mountain Town. There is a person in Azure Mountain Town named Xiao Shener. She is one of Su Han's goals in coming to the Magic Dragon Mountains this time. On the way, Su Han didn't let Yun Yun take him flying and hurried on. Instead, he was rushing on the road and killing monsters at the same time. Ding. Kill the rank 1 monster green insect, murderous aura plus 10. Oh. Closing square bracket. Ding, a hundred times the critical hit, murderous aura plus 1000. Closing square bracket. Every time he kills a monster, his murderous proficiency will increase a lot. Warcraft with different strengths bring different proficiency to him. The stronger the strength, the higher the proficiency, which is different from the way to gain proficiency in kung fu and mysterious techniques. Su Han crazily persecuted the monsters, and his murderous proficiency soared rapidly. Yun Yun defended Su Han. He thought he encountered a monster that he couldn't defeat and needed her to deal with it. Unexpectedly, she didn't even have a chance to take action. Along the way, Su Han killed everyone in the Demon Dragon Mountains, and countless rank 1 and rank 2 monsters died in his hands. Even a dozen rank 3 monsters were killed by Su Han after fighting with him for a period of time. My disciple's fighting ability is too terrifying. A trace of emotion appeared on Yun Yun's expression. As soon as Su Han fought with Zhang Yu, she knew that his combat power was stronger than she imagined. Not only was he invincible at the Zan Master level, he could also leapfrog and kill the great Zan Master. But when Yun Yun thought about it, it would not be easy for Su Han to kill the great Mystic Master. Unexpectedly, Su Han encountered a dozen rank 3 monsters that were comparable to the great mystic master, and killed them all without exception, and they were in good condition, as if they didn't spend much effort. Yun Yun could only marvel, his disciple was so strong. Dot dot dot. Under the crazy killing, Su Han's murderous aura proficiency improved very quickly, starting with basic accomplishment, great accomplishment, and perfect. A month later, Su Han killed a rank 2 Warcraft Earth Dragon. The proficiency of murderous intent is completely perfected, transforming into murderous intent. Boom. Su Han once again entered a mysterious and mysterious state. His eyes seemed to be filled with blood. Everything within the blood could be killed. Kill, kill, kill. In Su Han's heart, there seemed to be a voice full of magic shouting. Um. On the side, Yun Yun, who was protecting Su Han, had a look of surprise on her pretty face. She noticed that he had entered a special state. Not sure whether it was good or bad, Yun Yun hesitated for a moment and decided to continue observing. It is said that there is a thing in the world called epiphany. If Su Han is having an epiphany, her chance to intervene will be ruined. Of course, it is also possible that Su Han has gone crazy. If Su Han's condition deteriorates, Yun Yun will decisively come to the rescue. Call. Su Han opened his eyes and took a long breath. The moment he realized the murderous intention, a demonic voice kept shouting, telling him to kill, kill, kill everything around him, and even all the spirits in the world. Sword intent, bias towards the right path. Killing intention tends to be demonic, and it will corrode people's will. 
The stronger the killing intent, the stronger the corrosive ability. If a person's will is not strong enough and is completely eroded by the desire to kill, his character will change drastically and he will become a murderous person. In fact, people with murderous intent are basically murderous people. The murderous intention also wanted to erode Su Han, but I don't know if Goldfinger played a role. He was not affected at all and easily exited the bloody state of the murderous intention. Killing intent is a bit evil, or everything related to Demon Dao is evil. Is it okay to not touch it in the future? There was a hint of fear in Su Han's eyes. Although with the help of Goldfinger, his will was very clear and his will was not eroded by the killing intention at all. But Demon Dao has something more anomaly than murderous intent. If you don't pay attention to avoid it, you will be finished one day if you really hit the road. Therefore, Su Han felt that apart from murderous intent, it was better not to touch anything else related to Demon Dao, as it was too dangerous. In fact, Su Han wouldn't want to touch the murderous intention if he could avoid it, but he had already realized the murderous intention and it was too late to regret it. Su Han opens the personal properties panel. Host, Su Han. Race, Human Race. Realm, Two Star Xuanxi. Skills, Sword Intent, Basic Accomplishment 20%, Killing Intent, First Entry 1%. Exercise, Fuyao Technique, Basic Accomplishment 28%. Mysterious skills, wind spirit fractal sword perfect, green wind wings perfect, wandering dragon steps perfect. After a month of crazy killing, the main gain was to understand the intention to kill. Sword intent also gained a lot, and the proficiency increased from basic accomplishment 10% to 20%. His cultivation has also improved a bit, and he is very close to the three-star profound practitioner. Disciple, are you okay? When Yun Yun saw Su Han open his eyes and exit the special state of sudden enlightenment, he walked up to him and asked with a hint of concern. It's okay, I just realized some mysterious skills. Su Han said perfunctorily that killing intent is not a good thing and he prefers Demon Dao. Tell Yun Yun that there is some danger. If Yun Yun wants to eliminate demons and defend the Dao, Su Han will sit on the wax. Yun Yun's eyes flashed, but he said gently without going into details. It's fine, disciple. Will you continue to fight against the monsters to improve your fighting experience? Su Han hunted monsters to gain proficiency in murderous aura, but naturally he couldn't tell Yun Yun the truth. He could only lie to him that he wanted to improve his actual fighting experience. Yun Yun believed it. No need, master, I have been fighting with the monsters for a month and have accumulated enough practical experience. There is a small town ahead, let's go in and repair it for a while. Quote. Su Han smiled slightly. The town ahead is called Azure Mountain Town, which is one of Su Han's destinations in the Magic Dragon Mountains. Okay. Yun Yun nodded without any objection. The two masters and apprentices walked towards Azure Mountain Town. At the same time, a young man in black appeared, carrying an extremely huge black sword. The body of the sword is strange, with no tip or blade. It is more appropriately described as a ruler than a sword, with some mysterious patterns tattooed on it. The black ruler is taller than the boy and looks very heavy. The young man in black is carrying a black ruler on his back. Every time he kicks, it will hit the ground like a heavy object, splashing yellow dust all over the ground. Such a heavy object made the boy in black sweat all over his body and looked a little embarrassed. But his eyes were particularly firm, and he did not put down the black ruler just because it was heavy. Weirdo. Yun Yun looked at the young man in black, with a hint of surprise in his beautiful eyes. This young man, is probably Xiao Yan. Su Han stared at the boy in black and recognized his identity. The iconic Xuanzang ruler, the protagonist standard determined eyes, and this timeline comes to Azure Mountain Town. The most important thing is that the young man in black has a simple ring hanging around his neck. Let Su Han confirm that this young man in black must be the protagonist of Kengchong World, Xiao Yan. Facing Xiao Yan, the protagonist of Kengchong World, Su Han still looked indifferent. For Su Han, although he was prepared to intercept Hu Xiao Yan's opportunity. But this is not because he hates Xiao Yan, but because Xiao Yan's opportunity can help him grow quickly. No matter which world you are in, you have to compete for resources by yourself, especially in the fantasy world, this competition is even more intense. Su Han felt that it was normal for him to steal Xiao Yan's opportunity. 
If anyone else knew about his opportunity, they would definitely grab it without hesitation. Su Han glanced at Xiao Yan twice more and remembered his appearance in his heart. Xiao Yan seemed to notice Su Han's gaze and looked up at him. Su Han smiled at Xiao Yan and looked away. This man's eyes look like he knows me. Xiao Yan stared at Su Han, a trace of doubt flashing in his eyes, but there was no information about the other party in his memory. Xiao Yanzi, don't keep looking at him. In Xiao Yan's mind, Elder Dan's voice sounded. Emperor, is there anything special about him? Xiao Yan quickly looked away and asked with a hint of curiosity in his heart. This man is 18 years old and already a two-star profound master. He has a strong aura and gives people a dangerous feeling. I'm afraid, he is very powerful in combat, and ordinary Zan masters are no match for him. Quote. Dan Lao's voice sounded, mixed with a hint of admiration. I never expected that there could be such a genius in the Holy Code Empire, the most remote place in the Xuanchi continent. Even in Zhongzhou, 18-year-old Zan masters are very rare. Moreover, the 18-year-old Zan master in Zhongzhou basically has a large supply of resources. Su Han was in a small corner of the Holy Code Empire and lacked resources. The reason why Su Han was able to become a two-star Zan master at the age of 18 was basically due to his talent. It's a pity. If he was born in Zhongzhou, he would definitely be a genius, but in the Holy Code Empire, his growth has been greatly restricted. Dan Lao sighed slightly in his heart. 18-year-old two-star profound master. Xiao Yan's eyes widened slightly, and he couldn't help but glance at Su Han again. This man was so young, and he actually broke through the Zan master. Looking at the Holy Code Empire, there are not many such geniuses, right? If I hadn't been decadent for three years and relied on my own talent, would I have been able to break through to the mysterious master at the age of 18? Xiao Yan pondered and finally felt that there was hope, but there was no guarantee. This made him even more amazed at Su Han's talent. He was so terrifying. This kid is okay. Although he is a genius with amazing potential, he has not grown up yet. The guy next to him is a bit awesome. Dan Lao chuckled. Xiao Yan's eyes fell on Yun Yun, and a hint of surprise flashed across his eyes for a moment. Yun Yun is wearing white clothes and a white skirt, and 3,000 black hairs as black as ink are scattered like waterfalls, hanging down to her slender waist. That stunning face is like a flower fairy in the mountains who doesn't care about worldly matters, full of moving and ethereal color. His eyes were flowing, and what he had in his eyes was just the gentle breeze that penetrated his bones. What a beautiful woman, no less beautiful than Ling Er. Xiao Yan was shocked. He had seen many beauties along the way. Xiao Ling Er, Su Ya, Xiao Shui and even his hated fiancé Nalan Shui are all top-notch beauties. But this was the first time I saw a beauty like Yun Yun with stunning appearance, aloofness and indifferent temperament facing everything. This made Xiao Yan's eyes blank, and he couldn't help but look at it a few more times. Xiao Yanzi, I advise you to look away and keep staring at her. If you annoy her, I guess you won't be able to save your eyes. Dan Lao's serious voice sounded. Why? Could it be that she has a calm and indifferent temperament on the surface, but is actually a devil full of evil? Just because I glanced at her a few times, are you going to dig out my eyes? Quote. Xiao Yan disagreed. She is a profound sovereign. Dan Lao said in a deep voice. What? Xiao Yan's expression changed and he no longer dared to look at Yun Yun. He immediately withdrew his eyes, lowered his head and said in horror. Elder Eli, is she really a profound sovereign? How could she appear in a small place like Azure Mountain Town that doesn't even have a grand mystic master? Profound Sovereign, there are no more than ten people in the Holy Code Empire, and each one of them is a transcendent level figure who stands at the pinnacle of the Holy Code Empire. When the Emperor of the Shengma Empire met, he had to be respectful and not dare to offend. Shouldn't such a person should stay in a prosperous big city like Kyoto to enjoy life, or should he practice in seclusion in a treasure land rich in the vitality of heaven and earth? Why did he suddenly appear in Azure Mountain Town? Su Han also thought the other party was beautiful and kept staring at her without knowing whether to live or die. Elder Dan suddenly said that the transcendent level beauty in front of him was a profound sovereign, which almost gave Xiao Yan a heart attack. If this offends a profound sovereign, even if Elder Elijah takes action, it may not be effective. After all, profound sovereign has no injuries in front of him, 
His breath is stable, and he is in peak condition. Although Elder Dan claims to be at the pinnacle of the Zanqi continent in terms of his cultivation, he is still a remnant soul. In the past three years, he had to absorb the Zanqi of a small Zan practitioner before he could barely wake up, which shows how weak he is. Xiao Yan didn't think Elder Dan could deal with a powerful profound sovereign. Generally speaking, profound sovereign is in a prosperous place, or a treasure place of heaven and earth vitality, and will not walk around casually. But everything is an exception. The profound sovereign in front of him may be looking for opportunities in the magic dragon mountains, or he may have other things. No matter what her purpose is, I don't know if she wants to come to the magic dragon mountains, and I can't control her. Quote. Dan Lao said seriously. Xiao Yanzi, there is a profound sovereign nearby. I don't dare to take action at will. Otherwise, if the aura is discovered, you and I will end up in a bad situation. Next, you must be careful in everything you do in the Magic Dragon Mountains. Especially not messing with the profound sovereign and the kid next to her. Quote. There are so many things that can be obtained from the remnant soul of a strong man. First of all, the skills and mysterious skills in the strong man's memory. In addition, some divine soul elixirs use the remnant souls of powerful people as raw materials. Although Yun Yun didn't look like a bad person, Dan Lao didn't dare to bet on her character. I see. Xiao Yan nodded, his face a little heavy, and a little helpless. He came to the Demon Dragon Mountains for a training, but why was he so unlucky to meet a profound sovereign? Under Xiao Yan's intentional avoidance, both parties entered Azure Mountain Town without incident. Yun Yun's beauty made many mercenaries around her feel greedy, but her slight release of aura deterred all those with evil intentions from taking action. Although beauty is good, it is not as important as life. After Su Han moved into Azure Mountain Town, he didn't rush to find Xiao Shenur. She was here and couldn't run away. Su Han found an inn and opened two rooms, one for Yun Yun and one for himself. Lying on the bed, Su Han opened the chat group after a long time, ready to chat with the group friends. But I was surprised to find that there were two new people in the group. When I looked at the time, it was actually a month ago. Su Han flipped through the group chat records and quickly learned the general situation. A month ago, the chat group once again brought three new people into the group, two men and one woman. The woman's name was Wang Li. She was very unlucky. She transmigrated to the doomsday world and fell in front of a 10 meter tall giant zombie. The giant zombie also discovered Wang Li, grabbed her, and put her into his mouth. Crunchy, chicken flavor. Wang Li died in fear. She didn't even have time to scream. She died miserably. Su Han's expression remained unchanged. This was the usual behavior in chat groups, and he was used to it. The other two newcomers were lucky enough to survive. A man named Wang Mazi, like Wang Li, was transmigrated to the apocalyptic world. But Wang Mazi was lucky, he did not land directly in front of the zombies, but appeared in a room without zombies. Both are doomsday worlds. Could it be that Wang Li and Wang Mazi transmigrated the same world? Su Han's eyes moved slightly as he thought of a possibility. If this is the case, some people may be able to transmigrate to the firmament world in the future. Su Han felt wary in his heart. The atmosphere in the chat group is harmonious because the group members are in different worlds and have no conflicts with each other. Instead, they can help each other. But in the same world, two transmigrators will most likely have conflicts. For example, Su Han wants to intercept Hu Xiaoyan's divine fire, and another transmigrator also wants divine fire. But there is only one share of Shen Ho, so Su Han will inevitably have conflicts with the other party. Su Han had to consider this very possibility. It seems that the atmosphere of the chat group is bound to change a bit in the future. Su Han felt a little emotional in his heart. Sure enough, everyone in the chat group was not a fool, and they quickly concluded from the events of Wang Li and Wang Mazi that there might be multiple transmigrators in the same world. Wang Mazi was very cautious and drew Goldfinger. Yi Sheng and others asked him but did not answer, obviously not trusting them. Yi Sheng and others were so angry that they originally planned to give Wang Mazi some help, but now they have not mentioned it. Another newcomer is Long Chuan. His name is very Long Aotian and his luck is also very Long Aotian. He actually transmigrated to an immortal cultivation world and became a disciple of a nascent soul elder. 
As for Long Chuan's gold finger, he was also very wary and unwilling to say anything. Although Yi Sheng and others felt uncomfortable when faced with this situation, they could not change the minds of other group members and could only keep it in their hearts. Group tasks must be completed through cooperation. In the current atmosphere of the chat group, it is not a good thing for two newcomers to be wary of old group members. Su Han sighed slightly after understanding the situation. If group tasks are treated as a game, the gap between teammates' tacit cooperation and lack of cooperation will be very large. For the current plan, we can only try to improve our strength as much as possible. Su Han secretly said. The two newcomers were wary of the old group members. As a member of the old group, he could not change this situation. After all, he doesn't know the secret techniques of manipulating the mind such as hypnosis. But Su Han can change himself. As long as he is strong enough, he can defeat the group mission by himself without the cooperation of his teammates. After thinking about this, Su Han's desire to become stronger became stronger. However, Su Han had no intention of starting to practice immediately. After finally opening the chat group once, he had to pop in and say hello to the group members. Your king is back, Su Han Ait Yi Sheng, Lu Jun, and Susan. Yi Sheng, 5656 brother Su actually showed up. Everyone lined up to welcome him. Lu Jun, 2323, welcome brother Su to return. Su Han smiled. The group chat was more amusing than happy. He quite liked Yi Sheng and Lu Jun. Susan, 250, welcome back, Su Han. I have been diving during this time. What are you busy with? Kill the monsters in the demonic dragon mountains. Su Han replied. Susan, 250, Warcraft. Very strong, right? You can kill Warcraft. It seems that your strength has improved a lot during this period. It's not bad, Warcraft is indeed very strong. Su Han thought of the dozen rank 3 monsters, and he spent some energy before killing them. Lu Jun 2323, is there anyone who has achieved a profound breakthrough? A bit stronger than the mysterious one. Su Han said. Lu Jun 2332, that's right. He is already a mysterious person. If he keeps working hard, he will surpass Yi Shang. The world of Gaowu is great and progresses quickly. Quote. Lu Jun knew that Yi Sheng was the supreme innate grand master in the martial arts world. But the combat effectiveness is about the same as that of the Zan master in the Kangchong world. Yi Sheng, 5656, I feel like you are insulting me. Lu Jun, 2323, be confident and get rid of the feeling. Yi Sheng, 5656, you percent and add hash. Yi Sheng cursed and wanted to rush to Lu Jun's world and blow his head off. Lu Jun is so mean and keeps teasing Yi Sheng. Su Han looked at the two live treasures in the group and couldn't help but smile. Lu Jun and Yi Sheng would argue with each other in the group from time to time. Susan liked them and ignored them, Ait Su Han asked. Where are you in the plot now? Xiao Yan has entered the Demon Dragon Mountains. I just met him for the first time. Su Han said. Lu Fei Fei 10088 meeting Xiao Yan for the first time. Isn't he handsome? Lu Feifei is Xiao Yan's little crush. Su Han ignored Lu Feifei. She was a loyal fan of Xiao Yan and he wanted to cut off Hu Xiaoyan's opportunity. The two have always been at odds. Yi Sheng, 5656, the plot of the Demon Dragon Mountains. I remember that Yun Yun and Xiao Yan had an ambiguous relationship in the Demon Dragon Mountains. Now that she is your master, you must keep an eye on Xiao Yan and not let him take advantage of you. Quote. I know it well. Su Han said that in addition to intercepting Hu Xiaoyan's opportunity, he came to the Magic Dragon Mountains for one very important thing. It was to prevent Xiao Yan, a scumbag, from taking advantage of Yun Yun. After all, Yun Yun is Su Han's master now, and he can't stand Xiao Yan taking advantage of her. Lu Jun 2323, the cave of the rank 6 Warcraft Purple Gold Lion King. The overlord of the demonic dragon mountains, has two good things, the purple gold crystal source and the purple gold spirit crystal. If you can get these two treasures, it won't be a problem to break through the Zan master. Quote. Purple gold spiritual crystal is precious and is the main material for refining a precious elixir. It is even rarer to have an accompanying purple gold crystal source. Not one of the ten purple gold lion kings has such a treasure. 
It contains majestic and pure energy and can be swallowed directly to increase cultivation. These two things are my goals. Su Han said with a slight smile. If I were in Kangchong world, I would definitely tell Xiao Yan this news. Lu Feifei was indignant and thought that Su Han, Yi Sheng, and Lu Jun were too bad for planning an opportunity that belonged to Xiao Yan. How are you doing? Su Han asked. Yi Sheng, 5656, same as before. Lu Jun, 2323, same as before. Susan, 250, same as before. Su Han was left speechless. Are you repeaters? Su Han chatted with a few people for a while and then went offline. From beginning to end, the two newcomers, Long Chuan and Wang Mazi, did not speak. I don't know if they were peeking at the screen or not looking at the chat group at all. And Lu Feifei rarely speaks. Su Han didn't ask about her situation. In the chat area, two groups, new group members and old group members, are gradually taking shape. Su Han looked calm. Wherever there are people, there are rivers and lakes, and there are different groups. Not to mention just transmigrators, even the superior gods and gods are divided into different camps. For example, in the prehistoric world of Jia Zhao and Chan Zhao, and when the gods were conferred to measure calamity, Saint would personally go out to compete. Just get used to this kind of thing. After Su Han went offline, he rarely practiced and had a good night's rest. The next day, Su Han got up, Yun Yun also got up, and they had dinner at the inn. Coincidentally, Xiao Yan was at the table opposite them. Su Han smiled at Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan also responded with a smile. While the three of them were having breakfast, there was a sudden commotion outside the inn. This purple mist is poisonous and will rob you of life. Everyone, please stay away. There is no way to dispel the poisonous mist. Not even with mystical skills. It spreads so fast, Azure Mountain Town is finished. What's going on? Su Han's eyes narrowed. Let's go out and take a look. Yun Yun left the inn. Elder Dan, do you want me to go out with you? Xiao Yan asked uneasily. Go ahead, if there's any danger in this town, it's safest to follow a profound sovereign. Dan Lao's voice sounded. Xiao Yan got reassurance after receiving Elder Dan's answer, and left the inn with Su Han and Yun Yun. Others in the inn were also curious about what was happening outside and ran out one after another. Then, everyone saw a horrifying scene. I saw a group of people running around like crazy, among them were mystics and even mystical masters. Behind them, a majestic purple mist filled the air. All the flowers, plants, and trees along the way withered after being swept by the purple mist. What is this mist? It's so scary. Run. Run away. Everyone took a breath of cold air and followed the fleeing army, not daring to be contaminated by the purple mist. This is, Su Han narrowed his eyes and had some guesses in his heart, but he was not sure. What a terrible poisonous mist, Xiao Yanzi, you have to be careful. Escape from the poisonous mist immediately. There was a hint of solemnity in Dan Lao's voice. Who is this wicked person? He actually poisoned me. Xiao Yan cursed and quickly ran in the direction where there was no purple poisonous mist. Suppression. At the critical moment, Yun Yun took action, pressing his green and white jade hand towards the purple poisonous mist. She has a kind personality, and it is impossible for her to see Azure Mountain Town being destroyed by the purple poisonous mist and remain indifferent. Boom. Although this purple poisonous mist was so terrifying that even the powerful mystic master had no choice but to run away. It was still a bit unsatisfactory in front of Profound Sovereign and was easily suppressed. Yun Yun made a fist into his palm, condensed all the purple poisonous mist into a small ball, and finally squeezed it to explode. The disaster that was about to envelope the entire Azure Mountain Town and swallow up all life was ended. Huh, it seems I don't have to escape. Xiao Yan stopped. Some strong person takes action to suppress the purple poisonous mist. Great. The purple poisonous fog is gone, Azure Mountain Town can be saved. We don't have to run away. The people who escaped were overjoyed when they found that the purple poisonous gas had been extinguished. They stopped one by one to thank Yun Yun for his rescue. Yun Yun frowned. Although she destroyed the purple poisonous mist, there was still purple poisonous mist emerging. As time goes by, Azure Mountain Town will still be destroyed. The source must be destroyed. Yun Yun secretly thought, 
profound sovereign's terrifying strength allowed her to quickly locate the source. Disciple, let's go. Yun Yun used his tactics to quickly locate the source of the purple poisonous mist and flew over with Su Han. He's actually the powerful profound king. No wonder the purple poisonous mist can destroy us. The profound king takes action. No matter how terrifying the purple poisonous mist is, it can't make waves. Everyone in Azure Mountain Town was shocked. They never expected that Yun Yun was actually a powerful profound king who stood at the pinnacle of the Holy Code Empire. Here, Elder Dan, do we want to follow? Xiao Yan asked hesitantly as he watched the two people fly away. Follow me, this sudden purple poisonous mist reminds me of something, but I still need to observe it closely at the source to be sure. Dan Lao said in a low tone. But, what if she's unhappy with a profound sovereign? Xiao Yan had a trace of concern on his eyebrows. He didn't want a profound sovereign to mistakenly think he was following him and then beat him to death. This woman has a peaceful aura, she is not a violent person, and she will not kill you at will. It doesn't matter if she really takes action, I will take action at the critical moment. Quote. Dan Lao said, I can rest assured that. Xiao Yan received Elder Dan's assurance, and as if he had taken a reassurance, he ran quickly with profound energy gushing out from his body, chasing Yun Yun in the direction in which he flew. In the sky, Yun Yun spotted Xiao Yan chasing her. She glanced at him without any intention of pursuing him further. If he wants to come, just follow. After a while, Yun Yun led Su Han to the source of the purple poisonous mist. I saw a girl kneeling on the ground, her body exuding poisonous mist. It was the purple poisonous mist that almost destroyed Azure Mountain Town. At this time, the girl's face was full of pain, her eyes were blank, and she was murmuring. Why is this happening? Why did the poisonous fog erupt again after 12 years? That incident 12 years ago was a girl's lifelong nightmare. She was only three years old at that time, living in a small mountain village with a pair of parents who loved her, and the villagers were also very kind. But one day, the girl accidentally ate a poisonous weed. She was not poisoned to death, but something terrible happened. Her body emitted a terrifying purple poisonous mist, which quickly enveloped the entire small mountain village. Flowers, plants and trees will wither immediately when encountering the purple poisonous mist. Cats and dogs also screamed when they encountered the purple poisonous mist, and they all died soon after. The most terrifying thing was that the villagers encountered the purple poisonous mist and died screaming. Among them, there are even Xiao Shaner's parents. Ah, oh, I don't want to die, help me. Get away. The villagers roared, screamed, or ran away, or tried to blow away the purple poisonous mist. But to no avail. Little Shanur watched helplessly as her parents and familiar villagers were covered in purple poisonous mist, their skin ulcerated, and their flesh and blood melted away. Died after experiencing the most painful torture in the world. She tried to stop it all, but she couldn't control the purple poisonous mist, even if it was emanating from her body. She cried loudly, hoping that someone could stop this and save her parents and villagers. But the miracle didn't happen, and everyone who was contaminated by the purple poisonous mist died. The whole village turned into a ghost monster. Xiao Xianer fell into the abyss of self-blame and despair, falling into coma in pain. In order to protect the body, the brain instinctively blocks this memory. After waking up, Xiao Xianer forgot everything and thought she was an orphan. She stumbled along the way and went through many hardships to arrive at Azure Mountain Town, where she settled down. Xiao Shener gradually grows up here and lives a life like ordinary people. Her biggest dream is to become an alchemist, but without the talent of an alchemist, she can only settle for the next best thing and choose to become a doctor to treat diseases and save people. She was successful, and more than half of the mercenaries in Azure Mountain Town had received her treatment. She is very popular in Azure Mountain Town. Xiao Shener likes this feeling very much. However, fate did not let her go. Today, Xiao Shener's poisonous body exploded again, releasing a terrifying purple poisonous mist. The once sealed memories broke through the barrier and emerged in her mind. The nightmare is back to find her. On this day, she once again remembered the fear of being dominated by the purple poisonous mist. Seeing that the flowers, plants and trees in Azure Mountain Town are withering and losing their vitality, people are running away in panic with fear on their faces. 
Xiao Shenur seemed to have lost all her strength and knelt on the ground, her face full of pain. Why? Why did the purple poisonous fog erupt again after twelve years? Xiao Shenur's heart was shrouded in despair, and she didn't know why things were like this. Has she been abandoned by God? Otherwise, how could she be burdened with such a terrible physique? It is indeed Xiao Shenur. Su Han saw the girl and immediately knew her identity. When he saw the purple poisonous mist, he guessed that it might be Xiao Shanur's poisonous body that broke out. When I got closer to the source of the purple poisonous mist, I saw that it was indeed the case. How could an ordinary girl, not even a profound practitioner, emit such terrifying purple poisonous mist? Yun Yun frowned. The purple poisonous fog almost destroyed Azure Mountain Town, causing countless people to flee in panic. She was shocked that the source of such terrifying purple poisonous mist was an ordinary girl. At this time, Xiao Yan ran wildly and came to Xiao Shenur's side. The purple poisonous mist that swept through Azure Mountain Town and wiped out all the vitality of the flowers, plants and trees along the way was actually emitted by a girl. How terrifying! When Xiao Yan saw Xiao Shenur, his expression changed and he subconsciously took a few steps back. A dangerous person, for the sake of his own life, he is not willing to get too close. Sure enough, it's the Enon poison. I never expected that the Enon poison that plagued Zhongzhou a thousand years ago actually appears again. Dan Lao's sighing voice sounded, with a hint of fear. Ernan poison body. What is this? Xiao Yan asked. He had an ominous premonition just by hearing the name of the poisonous body of Enon. Hey, the Ernan poison body is a very terrifying special physique. How terrifying is it specifically? Let me give you an example and you will understand. When my body was still there, a woman with the evil poisonous body appeared in Xuanchi continent. This woman once turned an empire into a poisonous land thousands of miles away in a violent rage. On that poisonous land, hundreds of thousands or even more undead souls were hovering. Quote. Dan Lao chuckled. Hiss. That woman is so vicious. She poisoned hundreds of thousands of people just because of her anger. Xiao Yan took a breath, and his eyes changed when he looked at Xiao Shenur. Xiao Shenur also possesses the poison body of disaster. If she becomes furious, will she also poison hundreds of thousands or even more people? Thinking of this, Xiao Yan kept a distance from Xiao Shenur and did not want to get involved in the relationship. My friend, you seem to know something about the purple poisonous mist. Can you tell me? Yun Yun's expression was sharp and he noticed Xiao Yan's shocked face. He took the initiative to land next to him and asked. This. Xiao Yan was a little hesitant to tell the information about the poisonous body of Ernan. Master, the reason why that girl is emitting the terrifying purple poisonous mist is because she has a special physique. She is the legendary disaster poison body. Su Han frowned and looked at Xiao Shenur with desperate eyes, feeling a little distressed in his heart. What had she gone through to make her eyes look so desperate? She was obviously a young girl who should have enjoyed the sunshine and flowers, but because of the evil body, she had a psychological shadow, suffering in despair. Xiao Shenur knelt on the ground, her eyes were empty, her heart was ashen, and she could only murmur and repeat one sentence. Why did what happened twelve years ago happen again? Su Han guessed that the disaster poison had erupted once in twelve years, and unlike this time in Azure Mountain Town, Yun Yun solved it. There was probably no strong person in the outbreak 12 years ago, and many people were killed by poison. This will make Xiao Shenur fall into despair. Thinking of this, Su Han looked at Xiao Shenur with even more distressed eyes. If you are a person with an evil nature and the Enon poisonous body explodes and kills many people, you will not feel pain at all, but you may laugh. Only kind-hearted people will feel pain, despair, guilt, and self-blame because the disaster poison exploded and killed other people. Ernan poison body. Yun Yun was a little confused. She had never heard of this word. The so-called calamitous poison body is an extremely terrifying physique, and the vitality of all things will wither wherever it goes. Regardless of whether they are humans, monsters, or flowers and plants, they will all perish. Quote. Su Han explained briefly. After listening to Su Han's introduction, Yun Yun felt a hint of emotion appear on his usually calm face. Thinking of the tragic situation in Azure Mountain Town, she was almost certain that 90% of what her disciple said was true. 
The girl in front of me is really carrying the poisonous body of disaster. The purple poisonous mist that almost destroyed Azure Mountain Town was also the product of the girl's poisonous body breaking out. I didn't expect that in this small holy code empire, someone would actually know about the Enon poison body. Dan Lau was surprised. Even in Zhongzhou, not many people know the information about the Enon poison body. This kind of physique is extremely rare. Few people appear and few people understand it. Su Han was just a small mystic master, not a strong man. He was born in a remote corner of the Holy Code Empire, a place where nothing matters. He can actually know the evil poisonous body. To be honest, Dan Lao was a little shocked inside. How does he know so much? Xiao Yan looked at Su Han and felt a sense of shame in his heart. He felt that compared with Su Han, he was just a country bumpkin. I don't know anything, so I need Amir to explain. Yun Yun's eyes fell on Xiao Shenur, his eyes a little complicated. The purple poisonous mist emitted by the girl in front of him was extremely terrifying, sweeping across the entire Azure Mountain town. All flowers, plants and trees along the way were wiped out, and countless people fled in fear. If she hadn't taken action in time, Azure Mountain town would have been doomed and would have lost all vitality and turned into a dead land. However, the person who destroyed Azure Mountain Town did not do so voluntarily. The poisonous body of Ernan erupted into purple poisonous mist, and even she, the master, could not control it. Yun Yun saw Xiao Shenur kneeling on the ground with a pained face and despairing eyes, and felt a trace of sympathy in her heart. This girl is also a poor person. For a moment, Yun Yun didn't know what to do with Xiao Shenur. Should she be destroyed as a disaster, or should she let her go? Finally, Yun Yun looked at Su Han and asked, Disciple, what do you think a master should do with her? Kill her or keep her? Keep, Su Han said. Xiao Shenur didn't want to release the purple poisonous mist to sweep through the entire Azure Mountain town, but she had no ability to control the outbreak of the evil body. To some extent, Xiao Shenur is also a victim. If you want to blame it, just blame the special physique of Ernan poison body. Then stay. Yun Yun nodded, she was also inclined to keep Xiao Shenur. The culprit is the evil poisonous body, and Xiao Shenur is also a victim. What's the point of killing the victim? In addition, Azure Mountain Town actually has nothing to do with Union, and its destruction is not a big deal. Everyday places in the world are destroyed for various reasons, and Yun Yun can't stop it. Yun Yun will take care of this matter, mainly because she encountered it and took care of it. She is not a holy mother and has no interest in maintaining world peace. However, for the safety of Tianlin sect, we need to find a place to lock her up. Yun Yun said solemnly. The dangers of the Enon poison body were so terrible that one outbreak almost destroyed Azure Mountain Town. Even if she took action, the vitality of a small half of Azure Mountain Town was wiped out and turned into a dead place. With such a huge security risk, it would definitely not work if we left it alone and allowed Xiao Shenur's calamitous poison to break out all over the Holy Code Empire. As the strongest force in the Holy Code Empire, the Tianlin sect occupies the greatest interests. If many places in the Holy Code Empire become dead places, the interests of the Tianlin sect will also be damaged. Even when Tianlin sect disciples go out, they may encounter purple poisonous mist and die suddenly. As the leader of the Tianlin sect, Yun Yun naturally wanted to safeguard the interests of the Tianlin sect, so it was necessary to imprison Xiao Xianer. Um, Su Han nodded and agreed with Yun Yun's approach. Xiao Xianer has lost control and must be controlled. It is very dangerous to let it go. The two of them discussed it, and Xiao Yan on the side did not say a word. He was of low strength and had no qualifications to speak at all. Girl, I believe you have heard our conversation. Although I sympathize with you, it is a fact that you are carrying the evil body of disaster, and I hope you can stay where I have arranged it. Quote. Yun Yun looked down at Xiao Shenur, a trace of pity flashed across his face, and sighed slightly. You will lose your freedom, but I guarantee that you will have enough food and clothing. This was the only thing she could do for the poor girl in front of her. Quote dot 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 quote. Xiao Shenur still looked dull and despairing, as if she didn't hear what Yun Yun was saying at all. Emperor, do you have any way to deal with the evil poisonous body? Seeing the girl's desperate expression, Xiao Yan couldn't help but feel sympathy, and couldn't help but send a voice message to ask. 
Burn in poison body is very special. It will never be activated unless the poison is inhaled. The person who possesses it is no different from a normal person. However, once the poison is inhaled and the poisonous body is activated, it cannot be turned off. It can only be taken continuously, and eventually too many toxins accumulate in the body and explode. The owner dies in agony. Quote. Dan Lao shook his head. Isn't it okay not to take poison after activating the poisonous body of Enan? Xiao Yan asked. Xiao Yanzi, you think too simply. Poison is to the owner of the poison body, just like beauty is to a pervert. The more powerful the poison, the harder it is for the owner of the poisonous body to resist the temptation, and he may even lose his mind just to take the poison. From ancient times to the present, there is no example of the poisonous body of disaster being solved. Quote. Dan Lao spread his hands. Maybe there will be experts who can solve the disaster poison body in the future, but I have no way. Is that so? Xiao Yan was a little disappointed. He didn't expect that Elder Dan, who had always been omnipotent, would be helpless when facing the poisonous body of disaster. Oh, it's not that I don't want to save you, there's really nothing I can do. Xiao Yan glanced at Xiao Shenur and couldn't help but shook his head. The poor girl was not favored by fate and had an unknown cursed constitution such as the disaster poison body. Yun Yun took a step forward to imprison Xiao Shenur and bring him back to Tianlin sect. Xiao Shenur's eyes were dull and empty, like a puppet that could not move, no matter what Yun Yun did. The two outbreaks of the evil body destroyed the village, including her parents. This time, Azure Mountain Town was almost destroyed again. Perhaps I am a natural disaster star, an unknown person cursed. Being imprisoned and dying alone is the best fate for me. Xiao Shenur curled up in pain and despair. Her heart was dead and she fell into the abyss. Everything in the outside world was meaningless to her. Death, or being imprisoned forever, that's all, it doesn't matter. Actually, the poisonous body of disaster can solve it. Su Han on the side finally spoke up. As soon as these words came out, all three people present looked at him. Emperor, didn't you say that the poisonous body of Enan is hopeless? Xiao Yan was suspicious and suspected that Elder Dan was hiding something from him. No way, absolutely no solution. There is nothing I can do. None of the other peak experts in Xuanqi continent can solve the problem of the poisonous body. What can he, a mere Zan master, do? Quote. Dan Lao said firmly. When his physical body was still there, he was at the peak of profound venerable, ninth grade alchemist, and one of the strongest men standing at the pinnacle of Xuanqi continent. Apex level experts like him can't solve the problem of the poisonous body, so how could Su Han do it? After hearing Elder Dan's explanation, Xiao Yan decided to believe him. After all, the various methods shown by Elder Dan in the past have proven that while his physical body was still there, he was definitely a strong man standing at the pinnacle of the Xuanqi continent. Such great people at the transcendent level say that there is no cure for the poisonous body of calamity. Compared to Su Han, who is just a mysterious master, Dan Lao's words are more credible. After Xiao Shenur found out that she was an Enan poisonous body, two more Anan poisonous body outbreaks destroyed the village where she was born and raised, including her parents. This time it almost destroyed Azure Mountain Town. She was desperate and in great pain. She had become world weary and didn't care about anything anymore. This is the state that comes after complete despair. As the old saying goes, there is no greater sorrow than death. But after hearing Su Han say that bad luck and poison can be cured, Xiao Shaner's empty eyes filled with sparkle. She subconsciously raised her head and spoke with a hint of hope. Burn in poison body, is it really possible to save it? Xiao Shaner's tone was very soft, with a hint of trembling, just like a drowning person who suddenly caught a piece of wood before being drowned and had hope of living. But she was also afraid that she would have auditory hallucinations and her joy would be in vain. There is salvation, everything in the world is interdependent. The toxin is terrible, but it does not mean that there is no power to restrain it. The power of fire is fierce and masculine, and it is the best to restrain the toxin. If you find a powerful enough divine fire, you can eliminate the toxins in the poisonous body. By then, you will be able to perfectly control the poisonous body of disaster. Not only will it not hurt others, but it will also quickly improve your cultivation. Quote. Su Han said seriously. 
After all, the poison body of annihilation is very special. If its owner wants to break through the realm, he does not need to practice as hard as others. As long as you keep taking poison, your cultivation level will increase rapidly. Quote. Yun Yun's eyes lit up slightly. She felt that the plan mentioned by her apprentice had a high possibility. Sacred fire. Xiao Yan's pupils shrank. He had practiced the flame technique and could evolve by swallowing divine fire. He suddenly felt particularly sensitive when he heard the word divine fire, and he couldn't help but ask. Elder Dan, is the solution proposed by that young man really feasible? It's not impossible, fire can overcome poison. Although the toxin of the Urnan poison body is one of the most overbearing toxins in the world, even the owner of the Urnan poison body cannot control it. But the divine fire is the most apex level flame in the world, and is not weaker than the poison of the calamity poison body. If a powerful enough divine fire can be found, there is a certain probability that the disaster poison body can be eliminated. Quote. Dan Lao pondered for a moment and said. However, this method is theoretically feasible, but in practice it is almost impossible to achieve. The divine fire is hard to find. Countless people in Xuanchi continent are looking for the divine fire, but only a few can obtain it. Even I was extremely lucky to discover a divine fire. Who can easily find the divine fire? We also need powerful divine fire. In addition, the process of finding and fusing the divine fire is also extremely dangerous, and profound venerable may even fall. If you don't fuse the divine fire, you can't use its power, let alone control it to treat the evil body. Quote. In the eyes of Ein Lao, Su Han's idea was good. He could think of using the property of fire to restrain poison, and he was so imaginative that he could use divine fire to solve the problem of poisonous bodies. This idea surprised the well-informed Mai, who thought it was highly feasible. But the reality is that divine fire is hard to find, and powerful divine fire is even harder to find. Even if you are extremely lucky to find a group, you still have to risk your life to fuse the divine fire. Finally, the divine fire can be used to treat the poisonous body of disaster. The method proposed by Su Han is like mirror flower water moon, you can see it but you can't touch it. Thanks for watching, subscribe and support my channel.